So I do this once a year. I just kind of order my own blood tests. I don't see any reason to see a, a doctor to do this if you can order it yourself. But if you get your lab results, I'm gonna show you what to look for. What is the number one thing to look on the labs of your blood that will give you an idea of your overall health? And the answer is your blood glucose. This right here, hopefully you can see it, is all my blood labs. Between 70 and 100 is considered normal, so anybody um, below 70 would be considered hypoglycemic and anybody above 100, that's pretty standard, is considered to start being uh, in the neighborhood of diabetes. Well, my blood glucose was 79. And so that's right smack in the middle. Uh, so again, whatever I'm advising to you, I actually follow myself. Now the reason I say that the blood glucose is the number one and most important finding on your blood work is because if you can maintain blood glucose levels as normal, for the most part, everything else tends to fall into place other than strange diseases. Um, for example, I eat a lot of bananas during the course of a day. I think uh, before this blood test the previous day, I think I had about five bananas uh, just because they're in your smoothies and I have them for breakfast and stuff like that and I went on a bike ride too. Uh, my, my potassium was 4.7 and between, normal is between 3.5 and 5. So I'm right up there, my blood potassium is fine, but if you want to know if a person's sick and unhealthy and headed, headed where their health is just spiraling downhill, it's just going down the drain, look at the blood glucose levels. Most people, of course, are going to have blood glucose levels higher than 100, uh, and that's what it means to be in the neighborhood of getting to diabetes, and you want to control that as best you can. And the best way to control it is with a fork and make sure that you're eating the right food. So hopefully uh, that gives you some idea of what I like to do. Um, I've mentioned in other videos what to eat, what not to eat, what my philosophy is on, on uh, what you should be eating and how not to make it overly complicated and to make sure that people know, we all know what's healthy and we all know what isn't healthy. And it's just a matter of figuring out all this stuff on the internet and TV if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I hope in the future to give you even more useful information. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and I'll let you, let you go from here.